Hello, this is Rena with Lilo Crafts coming on today with a project share featuring dies from BB Craft. And um, this very first one is um, made with this sweet girl. Oh my gosh, I just love this die. This comes in a set of two, but let's look at this first one. She's got really flowing hair. She comes with her face. Um, here are her arms um, and her outfit and her really cute leggings. And she even has a little headband that you can put on her as well. And um, I uh, played with her and I also used this BB Craft I mounted her onto this um, tag set. Now this tag set comes in a set of four different sets of tags that are all graduated with one, two, three, with six different sizes in each one. And for this project, I use this very largest tag for this one. So let me show you my first girl. Okay, so this is my very first girl. And um, what I did was I, I cut her out of this die and I cut her all out in white 110 pound cardstock to start. And then what I did was I colored her flesh pieces with these um, 24 Crayola crayons, colors of the world. Um, and then I, um, and then I cut her out again and then I layered her up multiple times. So here is her um, light uh, brown hair that is flowing. I added a little a bow to her hair. Her eyes are bright blue and I put a little bit of um, chalk onto her cheeks for pink. And then um, here is her dress and, you know, in a very spring uh, colors. And then I um, made the stockings out of the same uh, uh, piece that I uh, paper pieced in for the bodice and then I added a sweet double bow to the end. I just wanted you to see um, the detail in her hair. Isn't that so sweet that you? she has all those waves flowing in her hair? So that is the first one and then I made this one. Oh, I think she turned out really cute too. So again, I used the black cardstock um, that I mounted just to add just a little bit of dimension around the edges. Um, and uh, this time I used dark brown hair and I added a flower just as if it was holding back that wispy part of her hair on the side of her face. Um, she has um, black eyes and then I gave her some pink cheeks and this time I cut her dress off into two two pieces differently. So I um, have this flowing part and then the top part I made it with pink with embossed paper. And then I used um, a white uh, jelly roll marker to um, add or to color in the lines that are embossed into the dress. So you would be able to see that a little bit more. But here she is up close. I think she's very sweet. And then I added this little pink double bow to the bottom and I used this like polka dot paper in the background. So those are my first two. Now next, I used this beautiful dye and um, uh, she's got more straight hair and a cute dress and this is her face and her neck and these are her little um, leggings and these are her arms. And so what I also did with that was I utilized this tag set and I used the biggest one. Again, this tag set is from BB Craft and it is part of the tag set that comes with all four of these beautiful tag sets with graduating uh, tags. And so this one has five tags on it and so does this one. Um, the other ones have six. So I use this one because I love the scallop at the bottom. So that's the tags that I used. And also I will put a link to all of these items in the description below as well as to BB Craft and I have a discount code that you can use and that will all be in the description below. So please make sure you go and check that out. Okay, so for this first one, again, I use that black cardstock to add some dimension to her and, um, and I topped it with an iridescent bow. I used a light pink and white stripe and then her dress is all pink and her leggings are pink. I used the white jelly roll marker again to add Add, um, just some additional dimension to her hair and I also use the white jelly roll marker to outline all this beautiful embossed
fussing that is going on in her dress to highlight that. Oh, I think she turned out so sweet. And then for this girl, I made her like a Hawaiian girl. And so I gave her a Hawaiian print dress and I gave her um, black hair. And this time I used a gold marker to add just a little bit of dimension to her hair. I gave her a sparkly flower and uh, a smaller sparkly flower that matches that to tie into her hair as well as her dress. And these little flowers were gifted to me by Donna Cianti. So thank you so much, Donna. And there she is with her leggings that match her dress. I just think that's so sweet. And this time I used a uh, white with a iridescent polka dots. And then also how I got the shading in was I used this um, Distress Ink in the color Abandoned Coral. And um, I just uh, used one of these little daubers to kind of go and blend it in on the edges. And it's a little bit lighter in the middle to try and draw your attention to her. So these are all four of my sweet little girls that, um, that I made this time. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really hope you will consider subscribing. And if you can give me a thumbs up, if you liked it, I would really appreciate it as it does help my channel to grow. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.